For hundreds of years, we believed we were alone in a far corner of our Milky Way galaxy. However, in December 2015, the finding of two habitable exoplanets orbiting Wolf 1061 only 14 light years away changed that belief. Eight months later, in August 2016, scientists found Proxima Centauri b located in the Goldilocks zone. Centauri is our closest star and is only 4.2 light years away. Two weeks ago, I pointed to these two recent findings as proof that we must not be alone and wondered what we may find in 2017. Just hours ago, the world was shocked by what we just found. Seven Earth-like planets orbiting one red star 39 light years away. Seven rocky planets possibly with water like the Earth. Although the farthest one, TRAPPIST-1H, may be too cold to have liquid water, the closest three may be too hot. But numbers E, F, and G seem to be perfect to harbor life. This finding is revolutionary because this proves what we knew and believed about alien life was all wrong. Take the Drake equation as an example. The equation may be right, but now we know the average number of planets per star has changed. And the average number of potentially life-supporting planets has changed. What do you think the new estimate of planets with life should be? Don't forget the seven planets are only what we observed. What about the ones we do not see? Since we have a telescope powerful enough, new findings are popping up faster than from a popcorn machine. Do you know how many dwarf planets we found? Do you know how many exoplanets we found? The only two things we have not found is planet Nibiru and the killer asteroid. When 1061 Wolf B, C, and D were discovered, I thought they may be the source of alien crop circle messages. In 1974, a message was sent to space with the following messages. Number one, the numbers one to 10. Number two, the atomic numbers of the elements, hydrogen, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and phosphorus, which make up deoxy ribonucleic acid, our DNA. The formulas for the sugars and bases in the nucleotides of DNA. For the number of nucleotides in DNA and a graphic of the double helix structure of DNA. Five, a graphic figure of a human. The dimensions are physical height of an average man and the human population of Earth. Six, a graphic of the solar system indicating which of the planets the message is coming from. Seven, a graphic of the Arecibo radio telescope and the dimensions of the transmitting antenna dish. The message consisted of 1,679 binary digits. Approximately 210 bytes were transmitted at a frequency of 2,380 megahertz. The message may be too difficult for people like us to comprehend, but they obviously meant to send it to an entity much more intelligent than you and me. This message was long forgotten till August 21st, 2001, when an answer appeared in the form of a crop circle in Chilbolton, England. The message stated that they are made of silicon instead of carbon, with an extra DNA strain and have changes in the number of nucleotides. They seem to be shorter, but with a big head. At the spot where we showed our radio transmitter, they showed a crop field, as that was how best to send the message to us. And instead of our Earth being the third rock from the sun, they showed they occupied the third, fourth, and fifth planets in their system. While the message was from the fifth rock, it sounded too good to be true, right? Most scientists call what they can't explain a hoax so, no endorsement on this alien graphic yet. However, three rocky planets. Doesn't that sound like the three planets we found in December 2015? 
Remember, 1061C is definitely in the Goldilocks zone, while 1061D is right on the edge. 1061B may be too close to the sun, but how do we know it is not a hotbed for some hotties? But now compare this graphic with the newly discovered TRAPPIST-1 system with a crop circle answer. The crop circle showed nine planets instead of seven, but maybe there are planets we have not found yet. We did not discover our own dwarf planet Eris till 2005. Please note that the Arecibo answer showed a crop circle sender living in the third, fourth, and fifth planet of their solar system. Isn't that a great match with what we found in Trappist star system? The Trappist existence shows aliens from a solar system like Trappist may have sent us this message in 2001. Remember, that was long before we knew such a planetary system existed. This news became front page news in just minutes after I first learned about it. In a way, we welcome the new discoveries, as every new finding takes us one step closer to the truth. But in a way, I have to wonder what we will find tomorrow. This is Ken Peters. Thank you for watching.